Hello everybody, my name is Wes and in this video we will cover tube feeding calculation, so let's jump into it. The nurse is scan for an 8 kg child with a nasogastric tube. When the shift begins, the orders for the tube feeding are Enfamil 20 kJ, 250 ml per kilogram per day, continuous over 24 hours. The child has been tolerating the continuous feeding for over 24 hours well, and the provider decides to advance the feeding schedule to bolus feeds. The new orders tell the nurse to change the bolus feeds every 6 hours. The new order reads, Enfamil 20 kJ, 250 ml per kilogram per day, bolus feeds every 6 hours. What volume of formula does the nurse administer with each bolus feeds under the new order? Record your answer using a whole number. Before answering this question, you need to know a few things. 1. You do not need a specific formula to answer this exercise. And 2. Make sure you know what is the question is asking and do not get distracted by additional information presented in this problem, such as Enfamil 20 kJ or the old order. The question is asking about the new order. First, calculate the total volume per day. 250 milliliters times 8 kg times 1 day is 2000 milliliters per day. Next, calculate the number of bolus feeds per day. In one day, they are 24 hours. The bolus feeds needs to be administered every 6 hours. Therefore, 24 hours in one day divided by 6 hours of each bolus feeds is 4 bolus feeds per day. Last, calculate the volume of formula per each bolus feed. 2000 milliliters divided by 4 bolus feed is 500 milliliters per bolus feed. Therefore, the volume of formula that the nurse administers with each bolus feed under the new order is 500 milliliters per bolus feed. Jevity 1.2 cow is prescribed to the patient. A can of Jevity containing 474 milliliters of feeding formula is given to you. The physician orders the tube feeding to be administered at a three-quarter strength with a rate of 100 milliliters per hour. 1. What is the total volume? 2. How many milliliters of water will you add to dilute the tube feeding formula as prescribed it? Before answering this question, you need to know a few things. 1. You do not need a specific formula to answer this exercise. And 2. Do not get distracted by additional information presented in this problem, such as rate of 100 milliliters per hour. Now, let's answer it. The first question is asking about the total volume. To answer it, you just need to divide the volume of the can by the strength to get the total volume. 474 milliliters divided by 3 quarters or 0 0.75 is 632 milliliters. Therefore, 632 milliliters is the total volume. The second question is asking how many milliliters of water will you add to dilute the tube feeding formula as prescribed? For this problem, you just need to subtract the volume of the can from the total volume. 632 milliliters minus 474 milliliters is 158 milliliters. Therefore, 158 milliliters is the amount of water you will add to dilute the tube feeding formula. 